Hey everyone, Jason here with STS. Hey, I wanted to take a minute this morning and talk about what it is that uh, Apple has published yesterday and what I woke up this morning and read in a message from Paul Daniels. First message this morning. Thank you, Paul. What I'd like to do today is um, take a little bit of a, a, a moment here to absorb this with you. Um, I, did, I skimmed over it this morning, first thing when I opened my eyes. Um, I, I didn't read it very thoroughly. So um, I've got it open here on my screen. I'm going to show you what this looks like, if my mouse will work. Okay, so Apple has determined that some iPhone 6 Plus devices may exi exhibit display flickering or multi-touch issues after being dropped multiple times on a hard surface and then incurring further stress on the device. Um, now, when I read this this morning, it didn't, you know, that first paragraph didn't seem all that bad, except... First of all, Apple didn't determine it. They knew it all along. Um, it was the attorneys and, and all the force behind the, uh, the consumers that made them determine it. So um, I'm actually glad that, they, that, that something is being done about this, but at the same time, they're really still kind of beating around the bush about it, and I guess they kind of have to to save face. Um, so anyways, determine that some iPhone 6 Plus devices may exhibit display after being dropped multiple times. Well, I'm pretty confident this can be happen after a single drop or, or zero drops, but at any rate, um, says here that you have to drop them more than one time on a hard surface and then put farther stress on the device. That's what that's what causes this. So they're blaming they're blaming the consumers entirely. Now if you're in this business and you're doing this for a lot of people, you know that this isn't just the iPhone 6 Plus, it's the iPhone 6 as well. So um, they've kind of tucked the iPhone 6 under the rug here. So if your iPhone 6 Plus is exhibiting the symptoms noted above, is in working order and the screen is not cracked or broken, Apple will repair your device for a service price of $149. I wonder if they're going to do this like at the Apple Store or if they're going to do it, uh, if they're going to send it off. They're probably going to send it off. They're going to hand you a different phone. Okay. So, not cracked. Now, I can't count how many iPhone 6 Pluses has came in here with the original Apple display on it. Not cracked. These people think they have touch IC failure, and it actually winds up being the screen. Um, the original Apple displays have been horrible about it. So, um, so here's what we're going to do. This reimbursement amount will equal the... Okay. I skipped a paragraph, sorry. Apple will contact consumers who may have paid for a service repair related to this issue either through Apple or an Apple serviced authorized service provider to arrange reimbursement. If you have not been contacted but paid for a repair that you believe was related to this issue, please contact Apple. Now, as far as I know, I don't know of any Apple authorized service providers that are fixing this zero. Well, not publicly anyways. They're not doing it for the public. They're doing it for Apple. They're not doing it for you. Proves that Apple knows about it and has known about it for a long time. Okay, the reimbursement amount will equal the difference between the price you paid for the original service to your iPhone 6 Plus and the 149 service price. So, you know, this is this this whole group this paragraph here is just put out there to, like make people make them look better. I don't think there's anybody that's actually paid an Apple authorized service provider to have this done because nobody's it's, it's not being done. Like you Apple hasn't said, uh, "Oh, sorry, your phone's messed up. You can take it here to get it fixed." Or you haven't taken it into somebody with an Apple sign on the front of their shop and them actually been authorized and and, and fixed it because Apple has not authorized anybody to make this repair. So, I don't know where these two paragraphs come from. Maybe, you know, whatever. Okay, so here's the process. Choose one of the service options below. Your iPhone will be examined prior to any service to verify that it is eligible for this program and is in working order. This program only applies to the iPhone 6 Plus. So if you're one of the people with the iPhone 6 and have touch disease, you're screwed. Apple don't give a shit about you. Apple, <laughs> okay, so here's links to find Apple service providers. Here's links to find retail stores. Apple technical support. To prepare your iPhone 6 Plus for the service process, back up your data. So, it 
says service process, but there's not actually a service process here. It just tells where to take it and says to back up your data. I'm actually going to get on the phone this morning and call some Apple, sort of, Apple, Apple authorized service providers and see if I can uh, get anybody to fix my touch ICs for me. Okay, so that's it. I mean, I really didn't feel up. I didn't really didn't feel up to this this morning because I am completely buried in repairs. But at the same time, this really excites me because this is not a repair that I enjoy getting piles and piles and piles of. Um, I'm somebody that enjoys learning. I'm, I'm I'm somebody that runs into a problem, and I like to you know I I really enjoy finding solutions to new problems. But with the added workflow and the mountains and mountains of iPhone 6 Pluses and iPhone 6 coming in here for touch IC failure, it's been really difficult for me to find time to learn. So there's been quite a few projects where um, I bump into a situation where I don't know what the heck's going on with it. Yeah, I could probably figure it out, but 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 do I have the two and a half or three hours it's going to take to troubleshoot it, shoot it or five or ten? You know, it's, it's a rabbit hole, man. Some of these things, you can work all weekend on them and not figure them out. So... Um, I'm I'm actually really happy to see this. I, I'm not too happy to see them kind of brushing the iPhone 6 under the rug or blaming the consumer 100% for this problem or charging them for it. So anyways, with all that being said, if you're somebody that has an iPhone 6 Plus in this shop and you would like to do the Apple route before we work on it, um, get in touch with us. Submit a ticket on the website, um, call the shop, let us know. We will charge you return shipping only and send your device back to you. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. I got a lot more repair videos coming, especially now that I'm going to have a little bit of free time to do to do other things other than touch ICs, touch ICs as fast as I can. It's been completely nuts. So um, if you want me to send your iPhone 6 Plus touch IC back to you for cost of shipping only, don't feel bad about it. You'll actually free up some time for me. So um, have a nice day, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll be posting a lot more soon.